Well, Alan set the play in the 1930s, which is the difference from Uncle Vanya. Um, it, it's really, it's two people, uh, Sir Cedric and Lady Helena, have come to stay at this country estate. And um, suddenly everyone stops doing everything and, and starts drifting around and people fall in love with the wrong people or people are in love with the wrong people or people fancy the wrong people and uh, there's a lot of unrequited love and there's a lot of drifting around being a little bit bored and trying to find something to do and I think sometimes when you're trying to find something to do that's when you start fancying the wrong people. Well, Helena is married to uh, Sir Cedric, who's much older than her, and I think she was initially blinded by his intellectualism, uh, and uh, a few years down the line has discovered that she's actually married to a, a cranky old man with gout that he thinks is rheumatism. And, and so her eye is slightly drawn to dashing Dr. Ash, but she's she, she doesn't think she'll cheat on her husband, but she's a bit bored. She's a little bit, maybe not self-important, but she's, um, she's quite self-conscious. She's quite aware of... Um, she's a bit of a drama queen, I think. She's a little bit of a drama queen, which can be quite tedious, I think. Um, uh, I don't know, I don't think she's a man-eater. I think it's more that she's quite cool, calm and laid back. And um, given that Sonia is 16, and um, uh, I, I don't think the men have really got much in the way of Totty to, to look out for anyway. So, um, no, she's not a man-eater. She doesn't, I, I think she's, she's very aware of her charms, but she doesn't push herself to the men. She definitely lets the men come to her and then go, oh, oh, what, what, what's going on? But I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah, I see a bit of a tease. Dimly. She's dimly, well, she's dimly aware of what she's doing. I don't think it's quite as... She's not a tease, exactly. But she's got a, some layer of consciousness about it. Um, I, I, think, I think what both Chekhov and Alan are very good at, which is why Alan's a great fan of Chekhov, is um, it, they both present a really good sort of mirror up to the idiocy of, of human beings and the, our foibles and and uh, Alan can make us laugh at how ridiculous we can be uh, you know when we first fall in love how how we think we're the only person in the world who's ever felt like this and, and all that kind of stuff and, and how ridiculous people can be particularly if they feel quite self-important and quite self-centered which as he keeps saying a lot you, pretty much all the characters are very self-centered and it's really all about them certainly is for my character. So I just think people will go and find that very funny and, um, and maybe think, oh, I know someone just like that, rather than think, oh, God, that's me. <laughs> it's always somebody else that's, that's that stupid.